All right guys, thanks for tuning into this Diagnostic World video. Uh, in this video, we're gonna show you how to diagnose a suspension fault in a Land Rover. Uh, we are in a Land Rover Discovery 4 right now. It's a 2010 model. The vehicle doesn't actually have any suspension faults, but that doesn't mean that I can't show you how to do it. And I'll show you exactly how to do it with this diagnostic tool. This is the iCarsoft LR version 1.0 kit, which is available at Diagnostic World. It's www.diagnostic-world.com. And I'm gonna put a link to this kit in the description below this video. So we have the tool plugged into the diagnostic port of the vehicle, which is right under there. And uh, we need to click on to Diagnostics. Uh, click on to Land Rover and then from this menu just basically go through and select your vehicle. So we have the Discovery 4 from 2010 and we get 39 different options to go through and diagnose. So not only will it diagnose your suspension but it'll also diagnose other faults like your engine, your gearbox, ABS, transmission, uh, SRS and suspension and well parking sensors and a lot more basically. Uh, but we're interested in this one here, Ride Level Control Module. So if we click on that, and it gives us three options, Read Fault Code, Clear Fault Memory, or View Data. Well, we can view data, 72 different bits of live data we can read with regards to the suspension, but we'll not go into that right now. We're gonna go to Read Fault Code, and it's giving us three fault codes here. Now these are previous faults um, which have still been left on the actual diagnostic tool. So we've got, um, it's telling us it's current, but we don't believe that. U0416, U0128, and these U faults are generally communication faults. So maybe if the battery's died or something like that, or the battery's, the charger's gone really low, um, it loses communication with certain modules in the vehicle and it'll do it the same with the airbags, the engine, uh, the, trans the transmission, things like that. Uh, but what we can do, say for example, this was a fault, uh, we could click on to clear fault memory and we'll click OK, erase operation done. So what we could do is we could go back in to see if the faults are still there. Uh, telling us no fault code found. So those previous faults, um, they were just a, a previous fault which has now been sort of resolved and they are no longer present on the system. So that's an example of what you could do. You may, you may for example, go in there and click read fault code and it might give you a fault to say that one of the sensors is, uh, is faulty or something like that, in which case you'd replace the faulty sensor, then you would come back to the tool, you would click on erase, and uh, there you go, you'd get rid of your warning lights so your, your faults on screen and also the, uh, the codes on the diagnostic tool here. But it's a great little tool, as I say, it also covers a lot of other systems as well. I'll just go through them here and just pause this screen if you need to take a closer look at any of these. That's highly recommended for any Land Rover or Jaguar owner as well. It'll also work on the Jaguar vehicles as well, as you can see by this menu here. So it's available, as I say, at Diagnostic World. It's www.diagnostic-world.com. I'm gonna put the link to this kit in the description below this video. And if you do have any suspension faults on your Land Rover or Jaguar, then this is the recommended tool. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.